Inside the box, you will first see this checklist. It shows you what is inside. First, we have the violin book. Next, we have these plates, which are the front and back plates of the violin. These are interchangeable, thus meaning you can swap them. Next, we have the violin bridge. It, it is this black piece. After that, we have, we have the large screw. We also have this violin neck, which is attached to the pegs, strings, and tailpiece. Additionally, we, have, we bring you these bag of bricks, which you can use to build the violin. And last but not least, we have this chin rest piece. It helps you get more comfort in the violin. You may also find other colors of the front and back plate. There are many options. For example, you can have the blue one, the pink one, the purple one, even the green one. There's a ton of options and there's way more than I just mentioned. Now I will show you how to turn this into this. First, you want to choose your back plate. There are two interchangeable plates. I prefer the blue, so I'm going to choose the gray as my back plate. Now we can take the bag of bricks. We're using these bags to make the structure of the violin. Let's open it. To assemble the violin, you want to take these long, white bricks and stack them on top of each other. When you're done that, place them on these sides. Make sure to press so, it, so there's no gaps. And repeat that over there. Next, let's start building the corners. You want to take out these two by one bricks and stack them up. There should be eight of them. After you stack them up, you should get four. Put these on the corners. Just like so. Then let's make the edges. You want to use these one by four bricks with three holes in them. Place them along the edges. You can also use these types. After you finish the assembling it, you might notice that there's a gap. Well, we can fill this in with these one by one blocks or these two by two blocks. The border is done. But if you don't like the color of the black and white border, you can always use your own Legos. For example, if I like this light blue piece, I can always swap it with the actual black and white pieces so I can make them more colorful. 
Now let's build the next structure together. To make it, you want to make sure that you have all your bricks and you move it here. Put the 1x4s with holes at the bottom into a square shape. After that, put your 1x4s without holes perpendicular to the ones with holes. Just like that. Now repeat them until you have a until you have this square shape. Here comes the hard part. We want to connect this square to this neck, like that. You will also need a screw for this. Take your neck and thread it across this little hole over here. Then, take your screw and you will see three holes over here. Put the screw into the middle hole here. Now, push your finger onto the top of the screw and rotate clockwise until it makes contact with the neck. You may need a little help. Go. I have just finished rotating the piece. To make things easier, you might want to take this piece off for the fingerboard. This will make it easier for you to rotate. If you are still struggling, you can use a screwdriver. The screwdriver can be placed here to help. Once it is tight and firm, you want to put the fingerboard back. Make sure that these holes are into each other. Just like that. Our next goal is to put this onto the base plate. To do this, we want to put the square block on here. Now let's put the square block into the base. I'm going to put it right here. Keep pushing until it's at the same angle. It should look like this. We are halfway done. This means we can put the front plate onto the back plate. You might need your parents' help. You should start from here and slowly climb up like this. You will hear a clicking sound if you do not right. body is done. From here we can secure the tailpiece. You want to first unscrew the, the nut and put on these circular pieces. You will need to loosen the strings a little bit by turning them clockwise, the pegs, and then putting it through this hole. Once you're in there and you find some trouble, turn the violin upside down and you will see that you will see it's going in there. When you can see the screw, you want to place another one of these circular Lego pieces and then top it off with a screw. We are almost done. Now we can put on the chin rest and bridge. For the chin rest, we have two options. The first option is this one. To attach this one, you want to make sure that one of the Lego bricks is on the edges. Like that. For the second option, you can use some blocks. We have, we have provided you these blocks. 
To build the chain breasts, you want to get these one, two by four blocks and placing them like this. The chain rest is just done. Now we can move on to the last step, the bridge. If you looked on the bridge, it is not entirely symmetrical. One side is higher and one side is lower. Also, you might see that there are some poles. These poles will attach to these little holes. So attach them and make sure that the higher side is under the thicker string. If your bridge is too loose, then you may want to tighten up the pegs. To do this, all you want to do is just to turn the pegs. And while turning, you want to make sure that these strings are onto the grooves. Like this. The violin is done, but that's only the starting point. We have given you many accessories for you to customize your violin. I think you also have a ton of Legos at home like this, so you can customize your violin. Have fun playing! I just finished customizing my first fiddle. You can see I put some mini figures on it, and I put a heart shape. Additionally, you can put these 1x4 blocks to make it stand. Now let's make some sound. To make sound, you need some rosin. To apply the rosin, simply take your bow and do it in a bowing motion on the rosin. Make sure to hold it like a taco. After you're done, your, your bow is ready for playing. Simply hold up your violin and play. Now that was the G string. Here is the D string and A string and E string. This violin is not intended to make melodies, but if you want to make a melody, make sure you get these violins. You can either get a classical violin or these Lego electric violins. Let me play this Lego electric violin for you. Mm -hmm. 